polyamory and swinging are very different. And, um, but not mutually exclusive. But not mutually right. exclusive. Depending on whose definition you have. Right. And we have participated in swinging and swinger events. Um, so we've done both. Our relationship. Our relationship. It's not a swinging. Relationship. No, our relationship is polyamorous. Every polyamorous setup is like a snowflake in that they're all unique. Mm. I'm in a polymorphous quint marriage and we're co parenting three children. Great. I like to get that out in the open as soon as possible, you know. We're all three heterosexual. Larry and Scott don't have a sexual relationship with each other, they're just roommates. Well, okay, so, so Scott and I sleep together most nights during the week because Larry snores, even though Vera he will tell you that not. he doesn't. I don't understand. Doesn't we do explain it. that because Vera is deaf. Vera is actually deaf in one ear, so. <laughs> so I sleep on the good ear. <laughs> The odds against this sort of situation <laughs> flourishing are staggering. Everything is exponentially harder. Every argument has a mediator or another mediator. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the most important thing is just to, to speak up, you know, to, to, for everyone to know that what they need to do if they're feeling jealous or insecure or that, like they're not being attended to um, in whatever way that they just need to speak up. He was confused and that there was this other woman and I just never felt threatened by that. In the beginning you were. I really wasn't. You really were. If I feel that way I need to go to Scott and say, look, I haven't seen you for three days in a row. Can we please spend the night together once? <laughs> I think that when people have sexual jealousy it's, it's more because they fear they're going to be left. Um, and. I know I'm not being left. I know that Scott and Larry aren't going anywhere.